Hey everybody, it's Marvin here. Today I want to talk to you about maximizing your strategy. Now, a lot of the people that I interact with tend to make a few mistakes around their strategy and therefore don't get the maximum output from it. Uh, they tend to make strategy a big picture thing that they think about during a planning session, but there's no link uh, in terms of creating the execution. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you about today. So the first common mistake that I see a lot of people make when it comes to their strategy is that they kind of have their heads in the sand. Um, they have, especially in larger businesses when things are kind of working, they have this thought of why change what's working. And uh, the key here is that you want to be in touch. So you want to stay in touch or stay ahead of your market and your industry so that you don't get left behind. Um, the next common mistake is that, you know, this thinking of our way is the best um, in that it's, I guess it's human nature. It's a lot easier for us to spot the mistakes that other people are making um, as opposed to looking internally. So we want to be looking around with view to finding out how can we improve based on what other people are doing? Uh, what mistakes can we avoid based on what other people are making? The third um, common mistake I see around strategy is that a lot of companies try to be the best at everything. Um, now, I know when it comes to using um, extreme words like we're the best at everything or we've tried everything, um, is that there's, it's physically impossible for anyone in the world to be the best at everything. What that means is also you're putting a lot of pressure on your team to be the best at everything. And it's physically impossible and it can be draining and it can be stressful so the key here is you know you got to pick and choose you got to be good at what matters for you and for your customers and it's all about lightening the load because the more weights your team has to carry on their backs the more pressure they have the harder it will be and the less fun it will be um, the fourth common mistake is that you know, not a lot of businesses can truly articulate their point of difference. What makes you truly different in your customer's eyes from your competitors? And um, this is a problem because, um, you know, when you say, well, we're good at everything, uh, we're good at service, you can't truly define what it is. Um, so you want to start thinking that there are riches in the niches and it's not just about marketing and it's about truly understanding where do we need to be the best at? Where do we need to be the worst at? And we want to find this niche that really fits us and has our targets markets in it. And uh, we want to really own that niche. We want to be the name that people think about when it comes to that niche. Um, and then the final one I want to share with you is that a lot of companies, because they can't define their strategies clearly and they can't articulate it clearly, they tend to come up with try harder solutions, um, meaning if things are not working, then try harder. And um, this is going to be harder for everyone. It's got to be a lot of pressure for people. And it's always this ongoing game of testing and measuring and sort of work harder, work harder. And this is finite resource uh, where we want to get clients to think about here is that we want to have repeatable process solutions as opposed to try harder solutions. So um, a few common mistakes and a few twists that you want to change in the way you think. And I'm going to share with you a simple framework that we can then use to layer our strategic thinking into execution thinking. So here's a model that I call the strengths clarity model. And what it is is that it allows you to layer your strengths. You want to build your business to maximize the strengths that you have in the eyes of the customer in internally as well and um, you want to be able to layer from strate strategic thinking all the way to execution thinking so um, at the top of the pyramid is going to be your strategy uh, if you have the right strategy it will allow you to have the right marketing activities and it will allow you to also design your service activities so strategy is going to give us the direction that we need and marketing is going to give us the intended perception that you would like people to have about you. And service is about creating your reputation. And so when it comes to strategy, you want to make sure that you're selecting the right one to help you achieve your mission. 
Um, importantly here for me, the mission of a company usually consists of three uh, components that you need to get clear on. Number one would be um, who you serve, which would be your, which is your impact, which is your customers. And then uh, number two is going to be your wealth goals, which is how much money and how fast you guys can move uh, once we can achieve those goals. And then um, number three would be the contribution goals. So the mission of a company really consists of impact, your customers, wealth, financials, and uh, contribution, which is the difference you're making to society outside of just you being in business. And once we're clear on that, knowing the previous factors that we made uh, that I shared with you before, uh, before you'll then want to look at your marketing. And the marketing is all about attracting uh, the right core customers. You want to attract the people that you truly can serve and you truly care about and are profitable and they value the strengths that you have. And you want to make sure that you can communicate your strengths uh, to them so they know to go to you. And then you want to be able to delight them once you have them so that you know your reputation will increase and you'll build loyalty. Not just repeat, but loyalty, meaning people will stay with you longer and pay you more. All right, so hope that helps on how you can maximize your strategy and why you might want to do that. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time.